Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about civil engineering versus architecture. I know this is a controversial topic and many of the people get into a very huge arguments uh, regarding, you know, which one is better. But I come here in peace. I'll be talking about pros and cons of both the courses and both the careers. So don't worry, I'll be very fair and I will try my level best to be, you know, not biased to any one of these courses or any one of these careers. So try watching this video till the end. I'll be presenting you with the syllabus. I'll be presenting you with the uh, salaries that you will be getting after completing this course, how much years this course take, what entrance exams you have to give. So everything will be covered in this video so try watching this video till the end this video will be a really helpful video for you all and guys for the people who are here on my channel for the first time my name is Saran Singh and I'm an architect by profession I keep making such videos on a regular basis so feel free to check out my other playlist also and without any delays let's get started with the video So guys, point number one is which entrance test you have to give to enter into civil engineering or into architecture. So both have different entrance tests. One is CET and one is NATA. CET is common entrance examination or common entrance test that you have to give for civil engineering. And for architecture, you have to give NATA or AIEEE. NATA is National Aptitude Test of Architecture. And both of these have different curriculum, a uh, very entirely different curriculum, I must say. One has PCMB, that is Physics, Chemistry, Maths, Biology, and one has all your aptitude tests, all your general knowledge, all your drawing tests, and things like that. I have made a separate video on NATA. Uh, you guys can go ahead and check it out. And point number two, in civil engineering, you have subjects like applied mathematics, you have subjects like applied physics, you have structural strength, you have engineering mechanics and many more such technical subjects. And you have to do a lot of maths, you have to do a lot of physics. And yeah, it is a very technical subject. So yeah. Keep that thing in mind before going to civil engineering. It is not an easy course. And in architecture, you have a lot of designing. You have a lot of planning. You have a lot of softwares. You have theory of structure. You have building construction. You have building design. You have architectural design. So there are a lot of subjects in architecture also. And architecture itself is not easy course. And in theory of structure, you even have some kind of physics in it. So yeah architecture is not at all easy guys you have to do n number of hours uh, of sheets you have to draft a lot of sheets you have to do a lot of presentation you have to give submission each and every week you don't have to sit and write reports like you do in engineering but again i'm saying engineering is not easy it has a lot of mathematics and it has a lot of technicality involved but if you are a creative person if you have some kind of creative kida in you go ahead for architecture and architecture is not just sketching so again i'm repeating I, I repeat this thing in all my videos so consider this thing and architecture is not only for drawing now coming on to the next point that is what civil engineering actually is so civil engineers what they do is they basically uh, design the structural uh, system of a building and what architects do is they design the functionality of the building right from how it will look and right to how it will function. We design each and everything. What civil engineers do is they execute it. They execute the whole structure. They even make the structural drawings and the structural engineers, they even do the structural uh, calculation, the load calculation, how this structure will function based on the loads and the distribution of load and guys it's not that that architects don't know this architects have to know this because we are responsible for the entire structure so again coming on to the next topic that is responsibility for an architect his license is on the line when a building is being designed a architect's name is there on the top then comes the civil engineer structural engineer and etc etc so after owner it's the architect so if a structure or a building collapse so first person who will be under fire is owner and after that it will be the architect and on this point let's switch to the next point that is your licensing 
so for engineering as per as i know you don't have to register to a government authorized body to practice engineering but for architecture you have to register to council of architecture i don't know about this but uh, they are coming up with some kind of test also so after completing your architecture you have to give the test and after you pass this test you will be eligible to be an architect and you will have a license number so this license number is there on all the drawings that we sent for sanctioning and these drawings are then sanctioned or approved by the local authorities or whatever municipal body that you have in your state so guys uh, architect has a lot to lose he has a lot to lot of responsibility but it's not like that that you know civil engineers are not working hard enough so civil engineers are basically designing the structure they are designing the integrity of that whole structure so here comes a you know slight difference in our roles and responsibility and now coming on to the uh, next topic that is again derived by your roles and responsibility that is how the hierarchy goes so the hierarchy goes as in the client client who appoints an architect and mostly an architect appoints a civil engineer or what happens is a client appoints a you know construction firm and an architect and a civil engineer are part of that firm so it it goes here and there but the hierarchy goes the client then the architect then structural engineer civil engineers and then the uh, local contractors then the workers and etc etc now coming on to a very important point that is campus selection so in engineering and in civil engineering specifically i have two civil engineers at my place so i know uh, you can get campus selections so many of the colleges they have campus selections for engineer engineering students so yeah you can get hired on campus but in architecture still majority like 80% of the colleges are not giving campus selection so yeah it's a very rare chance that you will get hired on campus you have to find job after completing your architecture so that's one thing and starting salary of a civil engineer like based on my experience and the people i know your salary can range from 20000 to 40000 rupees and it can even go more but the common range the average range is 20 to 40000 rupees and for architects when this is from my personal experience it can go from 10000 to 30000 and in very rare case it can go till 40000 but starting salary will be this much only so yeah now you can analyze the pros and the cons of this entire scenario uh anyways let's conclude this whole video that which profession is actually better so i must say that you know i can't derive this because personally i am a very creative person i like creating things i like designing new things if you ask me to do a math problem or solve some physics question i won't be able to do that or even if i do that i'll be damn bored and damn pissed so for me architecture is my thing designing executing you know new designs every day designing something new you know coming up with new ideas it's my thing but if you are a very technically driven person if you are good in maths if you are good in physics and if you love structures go ahead with civil engineering civil engineering is not a bad career guys people earn in lakhs even when they are civil engineers because structural engineering and structural engineers they charge a bomb ask us we pay them a bomb to design a structure to execute a particular type of structure so guys both the professions are on par it's up to you what you like and guys never go on you know uh, you know what people say people say like you know engineering kar le people say architecture kar le don't go on that if you have any kinds of doubts or any kinds of queries you can mention it in the comment section below and if you have any points 
to add on to this you can go ahead and mention it in the comment section again and guys if you haven't liked this video yet go ahead hit a like and guys subscribe to my channel your support means a lot to me and take care of yourself see you soon bye bye